Hi, today I want to take you on a bit of a tour through my cutting tools for Lino, but also just to talk to you generally about the kinds of tools there are on the market and what they do. So if we start with my toolbox, which is pretty huge because Lino and woodblock is my day job, um, I've got a variety of tools as you can see. So I actually have two layers to this box. Um, put them there side by side for a second. And I'm going to start at the top layer where I have various tools. Now, these ones are a bit special and these you can see have got what's sort of called in the trade mushroom handles. And these belong to Mr. B's grandfather and I inherited them by way of my mother-in-law. She was using them in the Central School of Art in the 50s and I'm still using them today. These are professional grade lino cut tools and as you can see they last for much more than a lifetime. And they're made up of a set of scoops, U-shapes and V-shaped tools. So that's what a professional tool looks like and then there are various other types of mushroom head tool available so here is a uh, here are three from a different set of tools and I haven't got any file ones they are um, common professional tools and that's uh, I can't spell it let me just check on my piece of paper it's a uh, P-F-E-I-L, they're lovely tools, those ones. Um, this one is quite a chunky V tool. I bought that from um, the art shop Hove, Lawrence's, and again, mushroom handled. And then there are tools with a different sort of handle. These are power grip. And these, I, I think these are excellent tools. They're sort of mid-range price. You can usually get them in uh, a set. And here we've got U-shaped, V-shaped and a flat chisel there. When we get onto cutting lino, I'll show you how all these things work. So Power Grip, they're a good sort of middle of the road brand. But I have to say there is absolutely nothing wrong with cheap and cheerful. So these, this is a set by A Big, and it's it's very cheap and cheerful, but it's rather nice. You can see you've got a wooden handle and some blades and a stick. And the way this sort works, and there are several on the market, is that you pop the blade into the handle and you use it to cut with. And when you've had enough, you poke the stick down the back and pop the blade out and change it. So a little set like those, I teach with those, and they're fantastic. They're really good. Um, so let me just pop that out of the way. And then there are Japanese tools that are more designed for woodblock. Now I work with lino cut and I work with Japanese woodblock. If we're all shut in for a long time, I may well get on to making Japanese woodblocks, but for the moment we'll stick with lino. So these Japanese tools, slightly different. Um, here is my collection. But with these, you can see I've got a, a selection here and they are really beautiful tools. Um, they're not cheap. They are, they are around the sort of £30 mark per tool. The way that they work is that they have a collar and then, oh, that's embarrassing. It's full of, full of wooden lino. And you have a blade that sits inside and as you sharpen it, it has a little blade has a little hook on it and it moves down the tool as you sharpen it. So these are very good grade steel and they're beautifully made. So I have a, as you can see, quite a wide selection there. I have some larger gouges. Now um, Shirley at Hand Printed is on the case for finding a supplier for the UK of these because they're really, really good tools to use. And there are a couple of other tools there which I would use for Japanese woodblock, but I'm not going to talk about it at the moment. The other set that comes up quite a lot is um, this little set here. So this, I won't tell you the manufacturer's name because I don't speak Japanese. So this little box set, this is a very good set as well. What you will find in that is that you have five tools 
a couple of U gouges, a flat chisel, a V tool and a knife like this. And if you've bought a set of lino tools and you're a bit mystified by how you hold this knife, it's not designed to be held like this, like you would hold normal Western, Japan, uh, Western lino cut tools. It's actually designed to be held in the fist. And the other thing about it, and I'll show you on a student one, is that you're supposed to cut it to size. So here's one that I've chopped off short because it's designed to be held in the fist like so and to cut on the pull towards you. That's something um, that's, that's more specific to Japanese woodblock. But if you're buying a set like this for lino, you'll find this blade in there for doing that. So that's the range of tools that um, I have and that I use for lino cut. And the main thing to remember is that it's not about the expense of the tool, it's about how sharp it is. So it's absolutely fine to make do with a little set like that if you have the blade sharp. So we will be covering sharpening and a way of keeping your tools sharp even if you're in self-isolation. So join me for that video and thank you for watching this one.